Hi. Hi, welcome back to Cooking in the Closet with Meg. Um, as you notice, it's a different kitchen. It's not a closet, it's a little bit bigger. It's a different, because I live somewhere else. Um, today we're going to make coffee. I got one of these new um, pour over things. This was, this, this was my old, there's a different, couple different coffee setups. This is another pour over coffee. This is one of those like um, coffee socks. Pro these are great for cold brew, but um, they uh, they're hard to clean. Anyway, um, and this one I dropped a bunch, so it's cracked. So I, th I was worried I was starting to drink glass, but I, I've been using it anyway. But it ran out of filters. But I got this thing, so it comes with the filter. So that you don't have to run out. And then I got um, this coffee. Uh, I I had it in uh, Puerto Rico. It was so good. Um, I'm also. Oh, that's my thumb. I'm also steaming. Can you see it? Steaming some milk. Um, Cause that that really. Uh, Elevates the coffee, so I'm gonna do a scoop of scoop of coffee, and this thing didn't come with instructions, so I'm not entirely sure. Then I got the hot water, and then I kind of pour over slowly, let it go. I don't know how fast you're supposed to do it, but we'll we'll test it out. Well, that it's going, I'm gonna take my frother. Uh, oh. One of these. I don't. I'm not quite sure how to keep this clean. I got like all these, like milk flakes in it. But I'm, if, if everything's boiling hot, I'm sure it's fine. I haven't. I mean, I'm not sure what is like food poisoning and what is just, you know, a lot of happening down there. You know what I mean? Um. Okay. So sometimes also like it gets stuck. So I gotta. So, I'm not on one hand, I'm doing this over the stove, and um, the other hand, I'm pouring slowly a little more. I, don't, I really don't know how much you're supposed to do, um, so we'll do that. And then I'll come back in a few seconds 